They said we couldn't do it. They called us crazy. Nobody starts a farm anymore. We weren't gonna listen. This is CFF, and I got something for you to look at. Good morning, friends. Today, we are gonna be talking about putting metal up on the pole barn walls. Here are a few tips that might help you when doing the same type of thing. It doesn't only apply to medium-sized pole barns like this one. When doing metal on the walls of the pole barn, you really have to make sure you start straight and square. Even if you are off by a little bit, eventually it'll become off by a lot. Your whole wall will go up or downhill. By that I mean your sheets will either be higher or lower than the previous sheet, or that your sheet is tilting. This you will notice if you have a reference point on the base of your wall after a few sheets. So it is critical that your first sheet is spot on. This all starts with the grade board at the bottom. If you have a laser level, that would be easiest to get everything level, but the one that I had bought is not that good. And I will do a review on that tool later. I got it to work, but only at dark. So I had gotten a good reference point for all four corners. Then I can measure down from my reference point and get the board to grade. As long as your first sheet is good, then the rest of your sheets will also be good. Since they all lock together, it is possible that your sheets will start to go off of alignment halfway through your run, but it will be noticeable. It is best to pre-drill all the holes for where the screws will go in the sheet metal, because it just makes the overall appearance look that much better. Go ahead and take this time to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If there's something that you would like to see or see more of, write a comment and we will get back to you and do our best to accommodate the request. When I did the windows for the side of the building, I cut out the openings after I started the metal. When cutting out the board, you need to be careful because the girt board will want to bind the saw. When building the window frame, you can just keep it simple. What I had done was to make a simple box. Then when attaching the running boards, you need to make sure that you set them back to the thickness of the girt board. So I just placed a 2x4 under it and screwed it to my runners. You'll then have a spot to screw to on the girt board below and above your window frame. When I was putting up the window, I measured from the bottom of the window frame to the bottom of the next girt down. Then I put some temporary blocks in to hold the window frame to the correct position. You will have to make sure that your middle board is level when you reattach it. Since this is a cheap pole barn, the windows are pre-molded with the J-channel in it, which makes it harder to deal with and not have such a nice finish. The main thing is that water might sneak in when going around the window, so you just need to make sure that you cock it really good, but you can do that at a later time. It will be okay for a little while. So here's where I'm going to stop the video. I had to take this last sheet back off so that I could place the board that the sliding door goes on. I needed to put the bracing up or around the door opening. Coming up next is lifting the door, putting it on its track, so keep an eye out for that video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.